Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is actually April 1st of 2019 and it's going to be the first day that we officially start renovations on our new house. I hope you guys enjoyed our empty house tour we had um, the other day. Now that I'm filming more vlogs, I don't know if I'll wait and do one every Saturday and have them like weeks apart or if I'll start like doing random ones throughout the week. I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, so I just got here. They turned the electric back on, so I have lights now. I'm gonna bring in um, a bunch of supplies and then I'm gonna start on getting everything ready for painting. So I yeah, go. I'm gonna take you guys along on this journey. I guess I should show you what I'm gonna do today. Up here we have this room. It is pink. Do not like the pink. I want to change it. So I haven't really decided what color I'm going to change it, but I have um, a plan for today. My goal for today is getting everything off the walls. So like electrical sockets, um, taking these off, taking that off. Um, yeah, I'm going to do painter's tape around everywhere. I'm going to sand the walls. And then if I have time, and if I'm feeling up to it, gosh, I'm out of breath, um, <laughs> I'm going to prime the walls also. Because I have all that stuff now in my car. Got all the supplies here. Woohoo! So obviously I'm a complete newbie at this. Um, I've never done anything like this. So taking the blinds and all the like electrical covers off, so proud of myself. I also wanna say that yesterday, I think I put it up here, yeah. Yesterday I walked in by myself and the only thing on the floor was a single dime. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a sign for my mom because um, she found dimes, um, like so many dimes leading up to her going missing and she looked it up and it said it's people who have already died trying to communicate with you and I was like oh my gosh what a sign that I walk in and find a dime on my floor so great came into the closet and realized I hadn't taken off the bar to hang clothes and I guess when you take it off correctly it's supposed to have these things in well on this side I accidentally ripped them out so that is my first oops moment but I feel like I can fix that later. And if I can't fix it, someone I know can help me and I can learn. Um, also, my friend Whitney is on her way over here and she's going to help me um, tape everything and then prime everything today. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay guys, Whitney's here. Have you been on my vlog before? No. Oh. Welcome to the vlog, this is Whitney. Um, she's so sweet and she brought donuts and then me a hot chocolate. So we're going to start on the pink room and we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, but we'll keep you updated. <laughs> it looks good. That was a great clip. <laughs> okay, so Whitney left. We actually went out to lunch and went to Home Depot to get a few more supplies. I picked out the paint colors. Finally, that was so hard to do. But I've decided on the paint colors. I'm not gonna show you yet because I want it to kind of be a surprise as we're painting, even though you'll see it in a few seconds.
All right, so I have these two walls painted like a light cream color. They still need to be touched up, but I think they look pretty good for so far. I also am painting this as the accent wall. It's supposed to be like this color green. Hopefully I like it. Right now on the wall, I think it looks rather ugly, but Sally keeps telling me to wait until it dries. And then she's priming the other half of this wall. And then we have the cream, so you can kind of see the different colors between the white and then the cream. But hopefully it's coming along. Tonight we had pizza for dinner, and this is kind of where we're leaving things for tonight. We have like half and half things done, but we're just cleaning up, and then tomorrow morning we will start again. Good morning, guys. It is officially the next day. Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Um, I just got back here, and I'm looking over everything. I think we did so good. I've never painted or done any of this stuff before so i'm very impressed but this is kind of how green the wall is looking it's kind of darkened a little bit and i like this so much better than i liked it being bright right out of the can but then we have these are like cream i can try to show you so it's like actually a cream color instead of the white like the closet and i like that a lot um, and then we're still working on this side and this half in the closet and everything like that but we have a goal today to finish this room and yeah, maybe even rent um, a carpet cleaner so that we can really deep clean these carpets and then start getting furniture, at least in one room. <laughs> All right, so I have finished the second coat on this wall. I think it looks really, really great. Um, I've also finished first coats on this wall, that whole section, and then the closet section. The only problem I'm having are these doors. I don't know how to like take them off and I can't reach in that little crack on either side. So, hmm. Um, I do have to work on all the trim areas and stuff still, but I did the second coat on this wall. I think that looks great, especially when it dries a little darker. Um, I looked at this wall and I was gonna start on it too. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like bubbles in the wall and I don't know, I don't know how to fix that. I don't think it's good though. Only thing I can think about is she had a lot of like nail holes in her wall. And so we took like the um, like putty stuff I don't even know and like spackled the wall and then just painted right away I don't know if that was supposed to dry I don't know how to fix that so I'm gonna wait until someone else gets here later so I can clarify how to fix it because obviously I didn't do a great job yesterday with this um that's a mess I just glue ripped the hole in the wall so for right now I think I'm good I might rip the tape of this wall So from afar, it doesn't look bad. But all of these little spots like this, and you can still see some of the pink on the ceiling. You can't see it from far away. I'll do some touch up work. All right, so it's been all day because I started cleaning and moving on to other rooms instead. But I finished um, doing the trim and everything in the rest of the room. And then I did do this wrong. I was supposed to let it dry. We basically took a, the little one of these thingies and popped all the holes and it left like huge marks and so we have this like putty stuff whatever it's called in here oh man i just messed that up um let me just it's supposed to just be very smooth so i can re-sand it and stuff tomorrow but we're gonna let it dry probably overnight and then um 
tomorrow we're going to come back in. I'm going to repaint this wall and then hopefully we can clean the carpets because it'll be a beautiful day and um, get some stuff moved in here. I'm so excited for this guest room. Now that I have the colors, I really, really, really like them and I'm really excited. I have a vision. Day four, repainting this wall. This wasn't completely even, so I had to use this stuff again. Patch and paint. And so I'll let that dry and then... I'll paint that wall and then hopefully we're done. Oh yeah, I also have to go through and paint the trim, like touch it up because it was cream and I want it white. has now been painted white except for this wall waiting for that to dry and then I'll take off the painters tape on the ceiling and then on the floor and then the window and then it's almost done I'm so excited all right so we have kind of finished taking off the painters tape of everything and doing our final touches I did redo this wall it looks like it might need another coat but we did rent the carpet cleaner here from Home Depot. And so we got to do our room and then my office. And so we want to do this room also. So I think that if I need to do another coat on it, I might just wait until that dries and then just put a clean sheet down over this like in a few days after the carpet's dry. But we are just going in regular vacuuming the carpet now. I'm doing the foaming carpet cleaner on the stains and then we're going to use this to do everything else. That's kind of like a recap of what's going on now. All right guys, I wanted to wait until the next day, so I don't even know what day this is for the vlog. Um, but I wanted to wait until the carpets were dry so I could show you kind of the final reveal of the room. Don't worry, I will be doing um, a video when I put furniture and stuff in here. But I just think it looks so much better than the pink. I am obsessed with it. It's like a nice cream color. You can kind of tell the difference <clears throat> between the cream and then the white, I think. It just looks so good. I feel like I learned so much doing this. Obviously, I'll have to put the outlet covers on and everything, but I will get around to that. And then I am planning on doing another video when I decorate this room. I'm planning on like a nature-y vibe. So like the wood of the fan to match like a wood bed frame with the green. Um, just really nature-y and I think that'll look so great. I'm gonna go look at bedspreads right now. Um, I'm just so excited for this. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I plan on doing other videos. Obviously, I have a few more bedrooms that I need to work on. So I will be doing those videos um, within the coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.